let's show you. It's, it's, that is like, the main beam isn't on now, just the normal headlights are on. So, it's got this, it's got this sort of LED strip in it, which is sort of like a DRL, which is cool. And the way I've installed it, uh, the license plate, there's a, the license plate holder has these, these uh, brackets that come out. So you just bolt it in. So there's like a metal plate behind the registration plate, just a big square black metal plate. And it has these like little sort of metal lips coming off. So you just bolt. It's a br brilliant system. Most, most extra lights are fitted this way in Scandinavia. It's a very simple, easy way. You already got the holes for the license plate. Once the license plate goes on, you can't see that metal, big black metal uh, plate. That middle one's not meant to be there. This is, this metal uh, mount is for three spotlights. It's not, it's not really meant for an LED strip, but I had it. So it was free, so I thought well, I'll use that. So I don't really, I don't need the middle, the middle mount. So it's just bolted onto that one and that one. Uh, and then I just drilled. I just drilled a hole through the uh, faux grill there for the cable to go through. So it's super neat. It is a super neat install. There's no cables hanging anywhere. It's very flush to the car. Well, as flush as can be for a big light bar. So that cable just goes in and then attaches at the back of the headlight. I'm not gonna flip the bonnet now with all that snow on it and stuff. So I've just tapped in with the, those little blue and red sort of connectors. I tapped into the, uh, I think I tapped into the side lights for, for this LED strip, this like DRL strip. Tapped into the side light and then tapped into the main beam. So when the main beam comes on. And uh, now it's dark enough that we can. I love the lights on this car. LED, the LED lights. It's not the best looking car in the world. Oh, but, uh, from the rear, it looks all right from the front, looks all right from the side, but from the back, hmm, it's, it's, it's not a great looking car. It's nowhere near as nice looking as the I-Pace, and the I-Pace lights were, were even better um, designed. But the, it's, I like the fact that they're, every, they're all LED. Fog lights are halogen. Don't know why they didn't put LED lights in the fog lights. So, when you put the main beam on. So on the E-Nero you've got, you press the stalk down once and then it's on auto main beam. So main beam will come on uh, automatically and go off automatically. It works pretty well, but I just like to have control over it. So I, I press it twice and then the main beam comes on. So, I shall do a little drive now, and you will see. The good thing about this camera is I can, I can make the lights look almost exactly like they do to my eyes. I would say that, that is pretty close. This camera is just brilliant. Uh, this is my Northern Lights camera. It has to be like super sensitive to, uh, it's my, well, it's my Northern Lights camera, astrophotography camera. So this is like a camera that's meant for nighttime. And I've got an F2 lens on it. So it's, it's, it's great in the, in, in, in the dark. So let's go for a little drive. 
I'm going to put the camera onto the dash so it's going to wobble a little bit and I don't want to hold it when I'm driving. But you will get a good, good look at how this uh, light bar is. Let's go. Car coming. It's 120 watts. Uh, I can't remember the brand exactly, but in Finland, it's a quite a popular one in Finland. They sell it at Motonet, which is a big, uh, it's like the English uh, Finnish version of like Halfords or like, I don't know, Pet Boys or something in America. It's like a car. Sells a lot of car stuff. Big, big, huge shop to sell everything. Spare parts, the works. So they're in that, and then they're also there's like an LED light shop in Rovaniemi, in in, in Lapland that just sells LED lights. It's got every single LED light you could imagine. So they sell it in there. That's normally where I get all my LED lights from. But when I got this one, I was in the south of Finland, like 900 kilometers away from my favorite shop. LED light shop, so I had to get this from somewhere else, sadly. Uh, so it works good, just because the roads are covered with snow and the scenery is covered with snow, it, it works much better. If there was no snow and uh, so the asphalt was like normal and, and just dark and it, it doesn't appear, it's still good, it's still very good, but any sort of extra lights you have on, they, they, they seem twice as good <laughs> in the snow, it just lights up stuff like insanely good. So I would like a little bit more light output for like in August when it's wet and uh, the, light, the light just gets absorbed by wet, wet roads and the, like in the forest, it doesn't light up the forest so good. So I'd like a bit extra light, but in winter, once the snow comes, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And every single car I get or have, I put extra lights on. I cannot have cars without, without extra lights. As you can see, the lights on the E-Nero are brilliant. They're very good lights. So this, these are just, this is just the normal headlights on now that you can see. Uh, this is very, this is pretty close to what my eyes can see right now. I'd say maybe the camera is a smidge brighter, but just a smidge. Yeah, it's, so that's pretty, looking pretty close, real life. So the headlights are good. On the, this is a 2020 Enero with the LED headlights. This is the, uh, I think the E-Neros have different model designations in different countries. Uh, in Finland, this is called the E-Nero EX with a premium pack. So I don't actually know what's involved in the pre with the premium pack too much. I know you get an 11 kilowatt charger, which I got. Uh, but I can't remember what else. So I think these are like the standard headlights in all e uh from like 2019 or 2020 onwards. And they're very, sort of very good. I'm very happy with them. The, the Jaguar I-Pace headlights were very good. 
I didn't have the matrix lights on my eye base, I, but I had premium LED lights. So like the middle, there was like the basic headlights, then the premium LEDs, and then the matrix LEDs. So I had the premium LEDs on the eye base. They were great also. But I also put the light bar, LED light bar on the uh, eye base. But I had to use a separate switch because I couldn't wire them into the main beam stalk, which is highly annoying. But I got used to using a separate switch. But this is just so convenient, just flipping this, the stalk. So any animals to step out, the reindeer or moose, uh, or foxes, their, their eyes glow, you can see them a mile away with this light bar on, the, the, the animal's eyes will glow and you can basically like cat's eyes. Um, so LED light bars, this one costs 120 euros, not expensive. They, they pay for themselves, well, if you live in the countryside and there's a lot of animals about, I've, like, even today, driving down here today, I, I came close to hitting a reindeer. It just ran out in, fr in front of me. That was in the daytime, so I seen it quite early. But at nighttime, I would not have seen that uh, until probably too late. So it's happened many times where I've been driving at night and a moose or a reindeer has, has been at the side of the road. And I've, I've just had like five seconds more time to see it because of these epic lights than I would have if I didn't have epic lights. So I, I, I can pretty firmly say the LED light bar has saved me from a few bumps into animals. Uh, I have hit a fox once and I very gently tapped the reindeer, didn't hurt it. I just about stopped, I got to about one kilometer per hour when I hit it, made contact, and it just kind of looked at me, <laughs> like like Sven out of uh, Frozen. It was just like, <clears throat> and then walked off. A bit disgruntled that I bumped into it, but no harm done, no scratches on the car. So yeah, this is the, LED light bar. And to be honest, I would still like more. I, you can never really have too much light output. Uh, so I am. No, I mean, no, I'm not really actively looking for extra lights, but if I happen to come across some lights that I could fit in a lower grill area or somewhere quite, quite flush or an aerodynamic on the front, I don't like big lights sticking out. I want to try and keep the lines of the car. It was annoying. This LED light bar does stick out a little bit and it doesn't really follow the lines of the car. I don't think it hits aerodynamics. Uh, I've not noticed any, any, any effect on the aerodynamics of the car. And if you look at like Tesla's and a few of the, a few of the really aerodynamic cars, they do have a little, like, lip protruding out the front. Uh, like a curve, the bottom of the, the bottom of the car sort of curves it. And then, it's like, to split the airflow, I think, I think you, it's a good thing to split the airflow to the bottom of the car and over the car. So this kind of does that. This, this does kind of like split the air into two. So it possibly even has a benefit. You know, only slight, I'm sure it's absolutely marginal, but I, I think it's probably slightly more helping aero than hindering it. And it doesn't weigh much, it's like, what, I don't know, one kilo, two kilos maximum. And uh, barely, I don't, it barely uses any, any power, any electricity. So, That is the LED light bar. There's, these are just the normal, normal head, headlights, light bar. Normal headlights. 
light bar. Really lights up the forest, really good. You've just got to be very quick to turn them off when another car's coming, or like I'm catching up to this van now. I gotta have it turned off behind it because it's it's blinding, you know, the, the 120 watt LED light, it's a very small sort of uh, intense light. So it totally destroys your night vision. If you look into an LED light that is this powerful, your night vision goes, goes to hell. So it's just um, driving etiquette to not blind other drivers. The Lapland drivers don't really have too much etiquette they put they will turn their LED lights off before you know as if they come around a bend they will turn them off but then they turn it back on two seconds before they've actually passed you so it's uh, it, it, the blinds are out yeah it really drives me mad that just have a bit of etiquette people So, oh, I, think, I think you've seen enough. I've still got another hour to drive, so I'm gonna have me light bar, light bar on a lot. Uh, it also makes driving much easier. Your eyes are less fatigued, squinting into the darkness. It kinda turns night into day, so you don't get tired driving long distances at night with a light bar. No, it's, it's, just, it's just, it's a win-win all around. Anywho, Thanks for watching. Catch up with you later. Bye bye.